Hey, what's going on guys, Dignal here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, right now, I am currently working on maybe four or five content videos, so I didn't really have time to do anything special, uh, so I decided to just do this instead for views. Uh, before I get into the video, however, uh, Maxi, if you're watching this, uh, I'm sorry, alright? Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into the uh, the video. You've all seen the preview. You know what you're uh, you're in for and I'm gonna try a different type of tutorial today So uh, I'm actually gonna be remaking the effect inside of the project file that I have already made the effect in Just to sort of speed it up for everyone and so that it becomes a lot clearer for you guys uh, So just to start off, this is the color correction that I have uh, most of this is stolen from someone else, but it's, they stole it from me. It's whatever. It's a long story. There'll be links somewhere in the description. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, just so you are aware of that. Uh, anyway, we have the little three second song snippet here. Uh, if I play it for more than five seconds, I will get copyright striked. So I'm not intending to do that. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and sync up your, uh, your clip, of course. So that should be somewhere. Okay, let me try and do this quickly. Right there. Okay, lovely. We we somehow did it, and I, I I'm still monetized, which is fucking lovely. Okay, so just go ahead and sync that up. Drag that here. Uh, go ahead and zoom that in. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is just place a marker on all of the different beats. Uh, now this is something you should be pretty familiar with, so I don't really have to play the audio back. Uh, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, it should look something like that in the end. Uh, now, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just right click and insert move envelope velocity. Uh, now, you're going to want to add a, a little marker on all of these different uh, beats right here, including the uh, the impact which is down here. And what you're going to want to do is just uh, go five to the left, uh, double click and five to the right. One, two, three, four, five and double click here. Now, every beat should look like that. So let's go ahead and do it on all of these. So we have five to the left and one, two, three, four, five to the right. Um, I can't really be asked to speed this up uh, once I've, yeah, I can just tell like I'm tired as fuck. I've pretty much just pulled an all nighter just recording new videos. I have a bunch coming up. Uh, I've got, you know, yeah, it's, it's so many fucking videos. I, I just caught my camera, so it's just, yeah, it's just a lot of work really. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Uh, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just make sure that this first line is on 100%. Uh, then drag the middle up to roughly, I would say, 350. So let's set that to 350 and set this to 50. Now, all of these side keyframes should be set to 50 and all of the middle ones should be set to 350. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that very quickly. And let's set this middle one to 350, uh, 350, 350. And let's play this back. All right, and now we need to um to actually just make sure that it it, it sort of syncs up here. Uh, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is just push this up by one, like that, and then drag it back. Now, if you're confused as to what I did there, I pretty much just uh, did this so that uh, this first sort of hill, as you can call it, is on the second marker, and then I just dragged it back, which is going to actually bring back the velocity keyframes as well. And once I've done that, it should look like this. And now we are free to uh, actually do something with this. So let's go five keyframes back from here, uh, right there, set it to 50. And now we're going to go to this one and we're going to pull it up to, uh, let's say, a bit under max, I would say. And we're going to go one frame forward and we're going to double click and set it to 50. Uh, now let's make sure that this looks good. Yes, it does. Lovely. All right. Now we're going to want to split this track uh, on the markers. Uh, which is every marker now obviously if your impact is three frames you can split it three frames back or whatever uh, but in my case it is going to be um, yeah I'm just gonna split it on the kill uh, so right here I have a bunch of these different uh, things now essentially what I've gone ahead and done is I have two shakes right here I have my tilt check them up and down these are for my edit pack uh, I have magic bullet looks this is stolen from somewhere uh, another tutorial youtuber I think and finally, we have some directional blur, just to sort of add some extra impact. 
Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and copy these event attributes. However, the preset will be in the description, so you can go ahead and download that and just apply it and follow my lead. Uh, now, what I did to change the color, I was very lazy. I just applied some hue set, right? Uh, and essentially, you can just pick whichever color you want uh, for each beat, so that's very nice. Uh, however, if you do have some pre-made, like, magical looks things, you can, of course, go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and only uh paste effects and keyframes like that and we just fuck and we keep doing that uh let's hope this goes well and selectively paste and once again selectively paste uh now let's go ahead and play this back and let's see how it looks oh i need to pre-render fuck all right uh a bit of a spoiler really i'm not gonna lie uh but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. All right, that actually looked very nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and add some sound effects. Uh, now, essentially, you just add a bass swoosh on every on every marker down here. You just make a bunch of uh, tracks and then you just drag it down. Uh, it's very, very easy, actually, and it doesn't take much mental capacity. I'd say barely any, not gonna lie. And uh, finally, you just go ahead and drag it down here, and you just have your pump sound or whatever that you can actually... Oh, fuck. Have I gone too far? No, I haven't. Okay, lovely. And let's go ahead and play this back uh, one last time, and let's see how it uh, sounds <laughs> with uh, hearing effects. Wait, no, I have a fuck. That's not I see. Whatever. All right. Well, that looked pretty good i'm not gonna lie uh and essentially if you want to transition this into another video you just add your transition somewhere here and you just fade it into another clip that is 100 percent just like this one and you repeat this process all over again until the beats run out uh so yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy me sure to leave a like down below comment subscribe all the good shit and i'll see you guys in a couple days and peace